Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Misato. Nice to meet you and welcome to the family. It's been a while I filmed a YouTube video, so I hope you guys are all doing well. Today, I'm gonna talk about where I have been and stuff. Uh, two weeks ago, I just got back from the US. I had a great time there, but I have some story to tell you guys. So guys, I went to the US from November 2nd for my birthday trip. And I went to Texas, Houston. That was my first time to go to Texas. And oh my god, I had a great time there. It was so much fun. I already posted the Instagram reel, so you guys can check it out from on my YouTube channel. And uh, actually, as you guys see the title, I was stuck in the US. I will tell you guys what happened. So, first of all, I was in the Texas, right? I was with my friend and uh, his friend too. It was so much fun. Once I was going to the clubbing with my friend and of course you need ID, right? So I got ID, which is my passport. I left my passport on Uber and I realized that when I when we are about to get in the club. And that was like two days before I go back to Japan. I was literally like in panic and my friend's friend said like, it's kind of hard to get back to your passport because the Uber driver is super busy. Maybe he's not coming coming back. I mean, yeah, my friend is super nice. So he called to the Uber driver and the driver said he will come back in one hour. So we are just waiting outside. We even like try to contact to the Japanese embassy. They said it will take time to get a new passport. I was like, no, like I, I should go back to Japan in two days. I was like, what should I do? And then, the Uber driver didn't come back in one hour. So my friend called him again to the Uber driver and he said he will come back in no one hour. And I was really crying because I, I thought I was like, I feel like I'm bothering everyone. I feel so stupid. But luckily the Uber driver came back and he brought the passport. I'm so, I was super happy, right? I mean, we didn't go to the club because I didn't feel like it. I mean, next time for sure I want to go clubbing, but at the time, at the night, I didn't feel like to go in the club. And we just went to my friend's place, and I mean his friend's place, and we had like a pho, the Vietnamese food, it was so good, and I feel so calm, so it was good. The thing is, next day, I got a five fever, which was like 38.5 degrees, I don't know about Fahrenheit, but it was super high fever. The next day, I mean, next day I got a fever. So the next day I have to go back to Japan, right? And I already got the COVID test. It was negative. But I had a fever and like high fever. So I literally couldn't move from the bed, right? So I was like, I cannot go back. But I was talking to my mom and she was like, Ganbatte, like you can do it. Then you should come back to Japan because you already have the flight ticket. Of course, like I want you to come back. I was, but I was uh, literally like dying from the high fever. And I found that it was flu. Yeah, and uh, she like, have to cancel a plant ticket. And since it was like a cheap ticket, I couldn't get the refund. So I just canceled the ticket. And uh, I was like dying for maybe three days. I had a high fever, like 38 or 30, almost 30, like 37.8 or something. And <laughs> I found that it's very hard to, I, I brought my Japanese medicine, but I took them all. So I took the American medicine, the te which tastes so bad. My friend brought me lots of food and like, um, like lots of drink, like lots of like, like vitamin drink, I guess. What's this? But I really didn't have any appetite. So he went to the Japanese restaurant, no, Japanese supermarket. And uh, he bought me like udon and stuff because I usually eat udon when I'm sick. Finally, I got better and I enjoy, I enjoy my last day. Me and my friend went to the park, went to see the nice view, like nice night view. It was so much fun. So I left Texas early morning on uh, Friday, I think, or Saturday, I forgot. And I went, I got to the Los Angeles uh, LAX airport to transit. So I was gonna go check in, but the staff said, your COVID paper is not, something is missing. I was like, what? 
Yeah, like I I only got vaccinated for twice. So if you go back to Japan or if you go to Japan, you need to get like vaccinated at least three times or if you get vaccinated two times, you need a like COVID test that which is it negative. And also, I don't know how to say that, like how you do it, how you did the test, like nose or mouth, whatever. The staff said it's not written. And then they were like, you know what, you should go get the COVID test again. We will reschedule you, your flight to the next morning. I'm like, what? I was like, I want to go back to Japan. I'm here in Los Angeles for just transit. I'm like, what should I do? In my mind, I was like, okay, I'm here for just transit. I'm gonna just check in. And I got COVID test, it was negative. So I was like, everything was fine. But no. They say like Japanese government is kinda, Japanese government is kinda strict, blah, 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 blah. That's not our fault. But anyway, guys, if you wanna travel to Japan, like make sure that your COVID test, the paper, is perfect. I mean, maybe you can just check it on the website. Otherwise, you cannot go into Japan. Or even you cannot go to Japan. And I was like literally crying at the airport because I don't I don't know what to do. I was like, oh my god. Like, yeah, if it was Texas, I still my friends there. Oh, and the friends too. So it was fine. But I'm in Los Angeles. I'm like, what should I do? I was literally crying at the airport. Like calling to my mom, calling to my friends. The thing I knew was like, uh, I have to get a COVID test. They got me the like paper, which says that, which has the address at the like COVID test place, whatever. And uh, I have to go there as soon as possible. When I was at the airport, I called to my friend who lives in Los Angeles, my only friend in Los Angeles. And he said he's working at the moment. And he let me know his like workplace, the address. So after the COVID test, I went to his place. He let me stay at his place, likely. So the next morning, he took me to the airport. And then I finally got back to Japan. So <laughs> that's my story. Lots of shitty stuff happened, but still, it was fun. Since I haven't posted YouTube videos, so I thought you guys are wondering I have where I have been. But yeah, I'm doing well. I went to the state. It was so much fun. Lots of shit happened. Now I thought it's kind of like interesting ex experience. So yeah, this is like why I was stuck in the US. And like, yeah, I really want to go back to the US. Actually, like, I'm not sure yet, but I'm kind of looking for a job in the US because like really like it there. I mean, I used to live in England before, but or like New Zealand other places but we like it there yeah so i'm looking for a job in the u.s i know getting a visa in the u.s is so difficult but still i want to try so i will give you guys updated for sure so yeah this is my story sorry guys i haven't posted my youtube video like recently but from december i will post more videos and i will post my pictures and instagram story and stuff on instagram so please go check it out Okay, that's all for today. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.